Hi, I'm Joshua Andrews, and today we're going to be talking about shadowing. Now, when you're shadowing someone, say, your ex-girlfriend and her new boyfriend who you refuse to talk about, you... Huh? Oh, shadowing, like, like in variables, not in the, not the thing I do every Friday. Oh. Uh, yeah, that, that makes much more sense. Shadowing a variable begins with the variable scope. Recall that a variable scope is the part of the program where it may be accessed by its name. A variable is visible only to statements inside the variable scope. It should be impossible to have two variables with the same name, but local variables present a problem. When an instance field shares a name with a local variable or a parameter variable, they are said to be shadowing. Shadowing causes the name with a local variable or parameter variable to hide the instance field as the computer looks at the local variable first rather than the instance field. Here I've created a class called square, which is meant to find the area of a square. It has an instance variable for side length and a string variable of area. I've also created a method that will set the length and another method that will display the area of the square. The problem is that in the method that sets the length, you can see that I've created another variable, a local variable, with the same name as the instance variable. So that when that is set in set length, it won't change the original instance variable, which is what I'm referencing in the other method to string. You can see the problems that, ri the, that arise later when I try and run the program. And ask me first length of this uh, square side. I'm going to give it a 3. Now it should return as 9, but in this case it returns an area of 1 because it still thinks that the instance variable is equal to 1, because we never changed that value. We changed the value of the local variable. This variable has overshadowed this variable. A shadowed variable can be one of the most elusive bugs to pick out in a program. It won't throw an error, and no IDEs will point it out. Take care to keep track of your variables, and take notes on which are used where. Well, I hope you learned a thing or two about creating reliable code. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's Friday, and I have a date. Allegedly. <laughs>